so much energy in both of these maneuvers. Which one did you like better? Oh, that's like picking a favorite child. I mean, look <laughs> at this. Uh, I think it's always just so impactful, that last maneuver, the way that he really throws everything at it. I love that layback option from Felipe. Under his priority, get him thinking about you. But for Felipe, the signs are good, mate. The surfing's great, and he's got another chance. Pulls the trigger on this one. Toledo, nice, solid power gouge. Last year's runner-up in the Ooh. world. Drills it off the top again. Highlighting that lip line, feeling solid. Easily a 484. We'll see the lead change with seven minutes to go. 12:15 on the clock. We just saw Kemper throw down another solid number, a 567. Here comes Toledo now needing an 8.24. Nice push off that bottom turn, hammering that section there. Known as one of the fastest surfers in the world in performance conditions. And he's picking his points well on this wave. His best before that was a 4.6. Here we go with Toledo. On the backhands, little whipping line adjustment off the bottom. Snaps one off the top and again releases those fins and gathers himself for a finish on the inside. And just kind of claw onto this, just slightly ungainly as he recovers that. This is just part of the journey. Here we go with Felipe Toledo. Toledo gets into his stride. Nice whipping car from him. And he'll go over the lip with that projection floats the maneuver and bashes it again and already put spice into this encounter. The direction of the swell has changed, allowing for better shape and more peaks just like this. Toledo off the bottom, stalling, dragging the bum. And he gets some nice coverage on the backhand. He's looking for something in here. Goes for a massive rotation. It is buttery, soft, and smooth as you like. The crowd loves it. I love the new format. I love that, you know, as, as gnarly as it is for, you know, to have this cutoff, I think um, just being able to focus on the tour and then jump on the Challenger Series if you, if you haven't made it is awesome. Speedy turns on the back end of Toledo. Fourth wow. banger there on the inside. He pulls it off. All right, here we go. Toledo. Looking for something here, needs a score. He takes to the air and gets the rotation. You just see him squeeze that last turn out. First lead change here in the final. And Toledo's on the hunt. Glassy left-hander going straight up. Hammers the first. Second, vertical, solid and complete. Late to the end section. As we have another look at this flawless scene in front of us, Bugs. Yeah, and here we go. Felipe winding up, hard off the bottom, there's an aggressive forehand carve. Drills it again. Toledo in motion. Nice top turn over the roof. And now setting up the end of this wave. Toledo is a magician in sections like this. He'll just pace with a front side carve. Now heating up. Looking for a good closeout section. Nice clean off the top. Hits it again. Toledo stays on his feet. His best wave so far. Out the back. Meanwhile, live action unfolding. Big exchange happening between these two competitors. The first of this heat. Heat three, the round of 16. Conor O'Leary finishing up on the inside. Toledo trying to sm smash this one as he rolls on through. Silky smooth, big section here, and he absolutely slams it. Same thing for Morgan. He will always be able to talk about the, the two heats he surfed and won against John John Florence. He has an opportunity in the next heat to claim a third victory over the two-time world champ, but he'll have his hands full. John's been on fire, as has this man, Toledo. The Brazilian starts off with a couple of big hits, already has a 7.57 in the bank. And he'll add to it with this ride. It's going to easily get rid of his throwaway score. The first wave of the heat. And he, again, is a, a guy that can actually really increase his heat score or wave score with a big finish on the end. Here we go. Big set waves on the outside. Toledo looking to improve on a 7.57. Beautiful steep section. Big drawn out carve. Maintains plenty of speed to get back up into the pocket again. Disappears for a moment. Uh, emerges from that white water. And now moves through to the inside. Looking for fireworks on the outside. Connor O'Leary falling hard. And Toledo's going to get another nice finish on the inside here. Just kicks that tail. Super explosive. Looks up at the judges. Throws the cheese whiz. And works the crowd. Philippe is 
a little bit more charismatic, sort of a little bit more sort of how Parco competed, really fun and, and energetic as we see Phil paddling in this one. Getting things started early, Toledo. Nice, clean swoop off the bottom. Steep section here, oh, and he has wow. the section. So swift in transition through that carve, and again, leans on the rail hard, and he hammers it. Big layback, great variation shown already. What a start for Toledo. Knows he needs to put the foot down. John John Florence has come off the two highest scoring heats <laughs> of the contest so far, and one of the highest scoring heats we've seen this season. That and Toledo's crazy. not done with this one. If anyone's going to throw something big on the end section, it's this guy. It's a clean finish and wow. a big way. He really will be able to open up soon. Let's look at the replay here. Philippe stretching out on that long, grinding roundhouse cutback. Up and over the foam again, coming from behind it. Straight back into the pocket. So good variety to this point. Shows some patience here and then jams the full wrap. Streaking down the line when you already were setting up for bang hits the alley hoop comes down without a hiccup doesn't lose any speed at all and then goes right out another section let's hit it again and then just go for that front side rotation that he just pace to uh, to this lineup and here he goes now first ride of heat number five the round of 16 sees Toledo hammering down the line first section is it wasted nice turn there. And now improves, well, I think, the, the move choice there. D ditching the fins for a moment. And now rolling through to the inside. Tricky end section. But Felipe just ollies over the step. Maintains that control. And it'll be a, a positive start for him. Everyone's really excited about it, except maybe the surfers that are uh, qualified for that back <laughs> of the season. Here's the replay yeah. of Toledo's last ride. We're still waiting on the scores for this one, Rich. The aggressive snap to start things off. A big wrap, the second turn, then gets the finish. Love that style with that backhand tube stance. Back to turns for Felipe. Plenty open face to work with. Crushes it there, two big hooks. There's the third and quickly reacting to shut it down. Re recovering on his heels, he will stay on his feet. Italo Ferrer has to give way to Felipe Toledo who executes on his priority. Little gaff off the beginning, looks for the wrap <laughs> alley-oop. It's a huge one and stomps it. No problem for Toledo. More amplitude, air reverse, wow. finish, and those are the combos that make Felipe Toledo so, so dangerous. 3.33 for last to Griff. Toledo needs a 4.39 on this wave to go right into first. He's got that stall. He wants to ramp up. Clear for takeoff. Full <laughs> rotation. Seamless on the landing. Right into a wrapping cutback. Now Toledo ramping up again. Big section. Throw tail okay, reverse wow. complete. Wow. Good looking wave for Felipe again. Stylish high line, big carve utilizing the whole rail all the way back. An extra speed for Toledo. Cuts it short on that carve, building up some speed down the line. Lip glide gouges a layback for the finish, and that's a backup for the 8.17. And he's going for a major upset in this event. Yeah, well, don't count, count Felipe out, and here he goes. Felipe Toledo could be ramping up his energy on this one. Solid wall to start. Nice clean vertical for world number one. Drives hard into the oncoming section. Oh, no. Blowtail reverse. Right off the top. Touches the float. Winds up for the finish. A big tail oh drift. God. Controls oh, it. Here we go with Felipe Toledo. Screaming down the line. High line. Speed line. Gets to the bottom. And unleashes a big fin throw off the top. Once again, the quickness of Toledo in another gear. Easily getting through this section right here, building up some speed, has to float over that section, comes to this whitewater coping and just slashes, combos it up for the finish. A little bit of a splash in the face, but no problem for Toledo. It's right off the buzzer, let's take a look at Felipe Toledo. Oh, unsurprising. It's one more look here, Pete. Uh, just look at the timing where he uses that ramp. It's a solid overhead wave and just perfectly placed. Technique, impeccable, no grab, board stays right stuck to his feet. To appear in the Rip Curl WSL Finals, but, you know, a win here, of course, would change all that. Here we go. Answering right back, Toledo. Upside down, throwing spray into the sky. 
working his way to this inside section, blasts the finish, releases the fins, the crowd goes wild. And for Felipe, 2021, while it was his majorly successful year, still a heartbreaking finish. So trying to live up to what feels like destiny right now. Toledo searing three turn combination, adds a fourth. Lays down, here's the cheers. <laughs> that is gonna make this a heat. We are one ocean, love to see it. And right back at it, live action from Sakurema. The Ori Rio Pro presented by Corona rolls on. Chris Cote here with Kaipo Guerrero. Throwing down a 10 and he's up again. Heading that same direction. Backhand float, big vert with an absolute hammer to follow. Toledo shutting this heat down. Wow. Mighty impressive. Meanwhile, live action, ripping down. A big jam off the rail. Felipe Toledo, your world number one in the yellow jersey. Hits it hard off the lip, throwing spray. And just carving again, goes right past a duck dive in Nat Young. And hits the lip for a finish. And he waited a long time for that way. Really nicely served.